witnesses and community members don't feel compelled to participate oftentimes is because they don't feel safe, they don't feel that those things will be resolved uh, beneficially for them. Unsolved murders and crimes all over the city. In some cases, lots of witnesses and very few tips. This is Wave News at 11. I'm John Bowl. Almost two weeks ago, six people were shot in Chickasaw Park. Two of them died. Hundreds of people in the park, but police have been begging for tips. Why won't people who know something try to help stop the violence? Wave News reporter David Ochoa examines why witnesses to crimes in the city aren't willing to come forward. Yeah, this week, LMPD asked the public again for any evidence that could help them get justice for the victims of the Chickasaw Park mass shooting. I talked with a former prosecutor and public safety expert about why some people might be reluctant to do that. 574 LMPD. You might have that number burned into your memory. It makes a regular appearance on Wave News broadcasts after we report crime stories. You can call in an anonymous tip at 574-LMPD. We tell you about this number all the time. LMPD says any tips, no matter how small, could help investigations. But sometimes, people are reluctant to come forward. And a former prosecutor explains why. Is if uh, individuals are not getting the benefit of law enforcement, right? If the homicides that take place there, if the shootings that take place there go unsolved, uh, then they're not going to have confidence that law enforcement can protect them. In March, the Department of Justice released a report outlining examples of discrimination of LMPD in some arrest cases. So when LMPD says, hey, can you help us out? People are more reluctant because that relationship is so broken down. Yeah, it's an interesting sort of double-edged sword because Polling suggests that people who live in communities plagued by high rates of violence want more law enforcement, not less. They recognize the role that law enforcement plays in, in keeping that community as safe as it is and that better and more law enforcement could make it safer. Crawford tells me many communities, not just in Louisville, might not feel police can do their jobs reliably or fairly based on past interactions with officers. Again, these neighborhoods very much know who the problem actors are. They want those individuals oftentimes removed from the community so that people can be safe. Uh, but if, if policing is done in a way where they don't have confidence that those are going to be the people who are taken out of the community and everybody else, else is going to be left alone to thrive, uh, then it can create this sort of tension. Crawford says making communities safer works in a cycle. He says when police departments make people feel safe, officers get more cooperation. And when they get more cooperation, they get better homicide clearance rates, which makes communities safer. Uh, you have to start somewhere and making individual witnesses, victims, victims, families feel safe and feel safe enough to participate in the criminal justice process is a really good way to start that cycle. Crawford says a few years ago, $200,000 was allocated to a state witness protection program. He says not all of the money has been spent and it could be a way to help make field witnesses feel safer. But he tells me it's very hard to navigate for prosecutors and law enforcement, so it takes some work to get everything running smoothly. David Ochoa, Wave News. Metro Police are trying.